car frames out of here. There's all kinds of stuff. I'll get a lot of my fat wood back here. I'm gonna pull this out one day and use this for making knives. Those old leaf springs. Make some knives and a couple of froze out of this. But anyway, I was looking at that the other day. I seen a. I see this one tree not too far out with uh, some chaga on it. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. I'll probably harvest it out. Probably next year. I don't really need the chaga right now. This might let it grow a little bigger anyway. Cause after you harvest this stuff, when I was told you can harvest it like every seven or eight years maybe, grows back. I don't know how it works. Anyway, there's a tree right there ahead of me. Y'all can see that. <clears throat> That's what I found the other day out here. size piece of chaga too. Got a spot of chaga by that well, birch tree from one thing but see that dark black on the outside and you see the kind of goldish color inside there. Yeah. I might leave it for now though. I don't know. Get down the swamp. It's been raining a lot lately. You want to talk about wet back here? It's been pretty wet. One of my stands is about, I don't know, a quarter mile out that way at one of my deer stands. And straight ahead out that way, there's another old deer shack that I think was made, I don't know, how many years ago. And his wife's great great grandpa's or whatever he put out there for hunting. There are a few little cabins around this place. Uh, we got to tear a couple of them down, move them, but I still use them out in the woods sometimes. I ain't going down there. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of trees to clear out. And, trails and stuff I've been making back here. I don't want down here unless I'm on the side by side. I don't trust a four-wheel drive truck. Well, on the other side of the trees, there's a clearing. I know y'all can't see that, though. But anyway. Fat went all out here. Just gotta look for it. So many trees I have been broke off in these storms out here lately. About the last, I don't know, this is five years. A lot of those trees were knocked down from storms. Let's stay hauling them out and harvesting them out of weeds and, you know, the wood. Anyway. Seemed like, we seemed like a herd of deer the other day, but. I bet there's 20 out there. From down the hill, you can see them. Yeah, I hear y'all. I think I hear all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> I ran into a porcupine the other day. i to make sure I got away from him. I don't think I ever showed you that beaver. I guess I, I made a video and I made a video showing his, his work in it. I may go back over there and look at it. And you can see some of the trees with the beaver just tore them down. Not these, but other ones. I'm gonna make a mushroom video this week. I've been seeing all kind of fungus out here. Stuff like this. I ain't got a clue what it is. Found this red jelly stuff. It's 
stuff like this. Y'all seen? Y'all seen this? Pretty neat, really. That'd be good for like fire starting or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is even. It's a little wet over there. I got a. I found a big little load of <coughs> that wood last night. I didn't know it was out here. Anyway, get in with a little red jelly mushrooms on it. Somewhere down there. Yeah, I may not throw you all that chocolate down there though. If I do harvest that soon, I'll show it on video how I do it. I have to get a post saw or something to get up there. Or whatever. Anyway, let y'all go. Get back to it. Y'all have a good one.